multiplying with zeros. What is multiplication? Multiplication is putting equal groups together. If we have three pom-poms four times, we have three times four, which is 12. Multiplying one digit numbers like three times four is called basic multiplication. We usually try to remember these facts, but we can also use strategies like drawing groups, drawing arrays, repeated addition, and fact families to figure this out. We already know how to multiply one digit numbers like three times four. Now we can use these basic multiplication facts to multiply much larger numbers with zeros. Let's try multiplying three times 40. So first let's look at three times four, which we know is 12. Let's look at what that would look like using base 10 blocks. We have three groups of four. Now let's look at three times 40. This time we have three groups of 40, which is four tens. That's 120. What do you notice about these two numbers, 12 and 120? Three times 40 is the same as three times four, just with a zero added to the end of the answer. Multiplying numbers with zeros is the same as basic multiplication. We just need to add the right number of zeros to the end of our answer. So when we look at three times 40, we multiplied three times four, which is 12, and then we had one zero that we needed to add to the end of our answer to make 120. We can multiply three times four to get 12, three times 40 to get 120. If we do three times 400, we add another zero. Now we have 1,200. Three times 4,000, we just add another zero, 12,000. Three times 40,000, just add another zero, and that gives us 120,000. This strategy also works when both numbers have zeros. Let's look at 50 times 300. First, we'll just multiply the numbers five times three, and that's 15. Then we'll see how many zeros we have in our problem, three zeros, and we'll add that, many, that number of zeros to our answer. That makes the number 15,000, but it's kind of missing something, isn't it? It's missing a comma. I always like to add the comma last, and a good strategy for that is to start on the right and count back three digits like this. That's where the comma goes. Now it looks a little more like 15,000. So to multiply numbers with zeros, we ignore the zeros, multiply the whole numbers, count all the zeros in the problem, add that many zeros to our answer, and then add the comma, or it might even be more than one comma. Let's try a few more. Let's do 400 times 2,000. So remember, ignore the zeros and just multiply four times two. That's eight. Now, how many zeros are in my problem? five zeros, so I'm gonna add five zeros after the eight. And finally, I'm gonna add the comma using that strategy where I count back from the right three digits, like this, that's where the comma goes. And I can see that my answer is 800,000. 6,000 times 50, ignore the zeros and multiply six times five, which is 30. Now count the zeros, I have four zeros, so I'm gonna add four zeros to the end of my answer. Be really careful here, this zero is part of the 30, it doesn't count as one of the four we needed to add. So we had 30, and then we put four more zeros after the 30. And then finally add the comma, we'll count back three digits and put it there. 200 times 500, ignore the zeros. Let's do two times five, that's 10. Now, four zeros, add four zeros after the 10, remembering that this zero is part of the 10 and not one of the four that we needed to add. So we have 10 and then we have four more zeros and finally we will place the comma. Let's review. Multiplying numbers with zeros is just like basic multiplication. Ignore the zeros and multiply the whole numbers together. Then add the zeros to the end of your answer and then add the comma last. This video was created by LaFontaine of Knowledge. 
click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.